Hello everyone, that's right, the title is correct. I finally made the answering video for your team of questions. You guys all left me wonderful questions and it truly makes me happy that so. Many of you even commented on the post at all, even if you didn't leave questions. Thank you all so much for the positive responses to this and to my episodes in general recently. Fun fact, I actually always wanted to do a nah video ever since I started the show five years ago in 2019. But I won't waste any more time. Let's get on with the first question. Sapphire Studios Offical says, Ah, oh, this is so sweet. Question for you. What is your main lore about? And who's your favorite Sonic character and why? Now I know this is gonna sound lame, but I'm gonna reuse a few clips from my Team Em Facts video to explain the main lore of Team em. Even though there's a lot of characters, then honestly most of the lore I have for specific characters are semi-mirrored versions of regular Sonic lore. Since that's what the Archie comics mostly did with their counterparts, I'm gonna try and tweeter the main information for this video though. So hopefully you don't mind this. If you want more super in-depth information on nearly every anti-character and the main lore of the world, then please check out my Team of Facts video that I made recently explaining everything. But basically, there's these two snake goddesses named Aditi and Dynex who created and was there at the start of the world. They act as light and dark Gaia and they're all about balance. Some evil gods were also created, but the main three are Harmony the man-made god. Apopai, the god of chaos, and Vanish, the god of death. But they were all stopped by older kings like King Rascal with magical artifacts or with the powers of the Seven Anarchy Barrel. At first, Scourge was evil and pretty much the exact same events as Archie Sonic played out with Scourge having major daddy issues and him going to jail. But due to a reason that will be shown later, in this video, Scourge became a good guy. Nowadays, the show has the same premise as when it began, Scourge or other residents of Mobius exploring the world, making friends and telling stories about my favorite Sonic universe. Some side information you should know before I move on is about a few of the Archie original characters. Miles is related to the demigod Harmony. Rosie is no longer crazy and Onux lives on a floating island just like Knuckles instead of a sunken one. I think those are the biggest changes I made that aren't just straight up fanning. Archie really had nothing to work with, so I made up a lot of this world's lore over time. Again, if you guys want more information and haven't watched it already, watch my facts video for more in-depth information. Thanks for listening to my yapping. As for your second question, despite me having a huge love for Scourge fan, Infinite is actually my favorite Sonic character. His design is handsome in both forms, and his powers of illusion are some of the most powerful and unique in the entire franchise. Sure, they messed up his backstory in game, but that just lets me do my favorite thing with him, writing a new story for him and delving into his character like I've done with Scourge for the past five years. He is also responsible for helping me make my favorite OC and get my love back for writing, art, animation, and much more. I have fallen out of love with it because I was in a super dark place. And finally, his theme song is just a certified bop. Infinite go, Attack. Go, go, go. <laughs> Overall, I love him and his potential he has for storytelling. With better writing, I feel like so many people would love him just as much as a character like Mephiles. Tom Rula 3358 asks, Everyone, could you fight Sage from Sonic Frontiers? Now I know you said everyone, but to be honest, a lot of the townspeople me and my sister may don't stand a chance. But I did make a tier list of sorts on how I think everyone with powers or fighting abilities would stand a chance against her. Here's a zoomed in version for a better idea of the list. The Autistic Gadgetuber official asks, Question to Scourge, what was it that made you change your evil ways? Well, I realized I was being a jackass when I went to prison. Fiona is the gal who saw my regret. I regretted taking over Moebius, cause it made me no better than my father. 
Fult's biggest fan 7,000 for 198 asks. A question for Scourge. Who are you dating in this AU? I'm dating my beautiful and hot as hell girlfriend Medusa. I found her in a lab when I was exploring with my friends. Best decision I've ever made to get with her. Let me tell you that. Ultimate Shads asked me many questions. They said, A questions? Um, since I'm still pretty new to team um, my questions will be based on what I gained from the facts vid. I absolutely can't wait to dive more into the story. Questions for Scourge. If you had to meet your past self, what would you say to him? I actually did meet him once, but I'd tell him to stop being a little shit. If your father were to apologize to you for how he treated you in the past, would you forgive him? Give him a second chance or want nothing to do to him? I killed that guy for a reason. He ruined my life, made me go down a path that no kid my age should even think about. If he was alive and tried to waltz back into my life again, no doubt I'd leave him to rot. It's what that two-faced arsehole deserves. Questions for Miles. Who would you say you like to hang out with most? Well, it's hard for me to make friends, but Circuit is like my best friend. He hangs out with me a lot and has like an older brother to me. He may be a bit of a coward, but he's a nice guy. If you had the choice between getting rid of your ancestor powers or keeping them, what would you choose? I'd get rid of these powers in an instant. They're nothing but a nuisance that I don't understand. Plus, I don't like being reminded that I'm more of a freak than I normally am. Questions for Onux. What do you think of Opal? Do you see her as a friend? They're so cute together. Opal? You mean the bat who sometimes comes up here? Well, she's a nice woman. And she's a nice friend to have. She's awfully pretty. It is annoying when she takes my hat, though. Apparently, she can't help that. Somehow? I don't know. Do you think you will always have a rivalry with Scourge? Or are you hoping that will change? Well, he DID steal the most powerful gemstones in the universe from me and cause my island to almost sink into the ocean. So, I'm not particularly happy with him, even though he's changed. Aw, oh, come on, Nux. The past is in the past, am I right? Questions for Rosie. Since you had a love obsession for Scourge, what made you realize your behaviors were not healthy? Oh gosh, where to start? I only chased after that prick Scourge for his attention, since he saved me off that dumbass planet I was exploring. But like, going around and wanting to smash his head in with my hammer just because he said no to a date was not my best move. Would you be open to dating again? Or would you prefer to stay single for the rest of your life? I mean... I would be lying if I said I was actively looking for love, but I just happened. On Valentine's Day, I was helping my brother Elias pick out a gift. I met her. Freya is gorgeous, and I still hope to ask her out sometime. Questions for Sanctum. Since you have a beast form, does it make you think negativity of yourself? I don't like to think about my beast form. It comes out and just hurts everyone around me, and the worst part is, it's like there's a fog in my head when it comes to it. I can't remember where it came from and why I even still have it to begin with, but it feels like something horrible. Do you have a favorite sibling? Of do you love them equally? How? He's for sure my favorite. He does the bare minimum in not picking on me. Questions for Hal. What about the world? Makes you so curious? Well, being locked up in the Ark was no fun, especially in a deep, dark freezer. So now that Sanctum let me free, I want to explore and learn everything I never got to. I already learned what love is because of Chase. My life pretty much only just begun. Do you have a favorite sibling? Or do you love them equally? No way I don't have a favorite sibling. Sanctum and Adriana are both equally as amazing. And I bet if the others were alive to meet them, then I'd love them just as much. Questions for Adriana. If you had to choose between being able to speak or stay mute, then what would you choose? Adriana says that, as much as she wants to speak again, then if it means her being alive right now, then she'd stay the way she is. I couldn't agree more. After what happened on the Ark, I'm happy she made it at all. I couldn't even imagine what it would feel like to lose my sister. I already feel a lot of pain knowing that a lot of my prototypes died, and the researchers whom most did nothing wrong to me. So losing Adriana? That probably would make me a completely different hedgehog. Do you have a favorite sibling? Or do you love them equally? Adriana says that Hal is less annoying than me. Wait, grr, Adriana! 
question for Xanthat. Since you're a foodie, what do you say are your favorite foods to eat? I'm a foodie too. Ah, a human from that world is asking me for food advice. How wonderful. Well, there's many recommendations for my food travels. I'd say Speedonia's Speedy Star Donuts are wonderful for a local treat. Dixit Meringue, of course, has wonderful sweets. And Moebius itself has a lot of delicacies of their own. But nothing in the whole solar system even comes close to one treat. Anything my wonderful wife Zuli cooks for me. Questions for Phyllis. Since you bonded, with Scourge's other EXEs, would you consider them your best friends? Hell yeah we are! They're super awesome! I never was the super big friendly type, so meeting them is super fun! Have you opened up about your body, confidence issues to anyone? Well I guess that came out in that fax video Cyborg made. No, I haven't admitted this to anybody other than Guy. At least when me and Guy were friends, but after seeing who he was, I've been more nervous to tell anyone about my body issues again. I never used to feel like I wasn't pretty before dating Scourge. Wait, is that it? Is this actually the last question? It is. We did it, everyone. The nine's done. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go take a long ass nap. Hello everybody, this is probably the first time some of you guys are hearing my voice, which is crazy to me. I just wanted to use the very ending of this video to say thank you personally from me. I thought me using my voice would do it more justice than text-to-speech. It's been actually five years since I came up with and posted the first season of TMOM to YouTube. That is insane to me. This show has a lot of thanks thrown for it. It's helped me make other gotcha shows that I love, like the Battle and Wonderworld show and Sonic Freedom. And it's helped me express my ideas, and it's also helped me make brand new characters and expand on a world that I thought was underutilized in the comics. And I'm just so happy to see that so many people came to support me for this Q&A, but also have just been tuning into my new episodes and watching when they've come out sporadically. I'm definitely going to try and be more consistent with making adventures for them, because the story isn't over yet, even though it's been five years, which is crazy to me, because I basically use this series to show off my ideas and just have fun with the characters I love. And I hope to do that with my other shows that I have planned in the future. It's crazy to see the evolution of my projects and my writing ever since I was 13 making these silly little shorts on TikTok because I was bored and in COVID or school. So yeah, thank you all so much for the support. Really, deep down from the very bottom of my heart, I don't know where I'd be without you guys or this amazing show that started off on a rocky footing but now has finally found itself and I'm truly proud of what I've been making recently. I can't wait to show off more future episodes once they come out and once I create them and of course show off my other series once they come into completion. So I hope you guys will stick around for the journey and I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!